Welcome everyone to Brian's Action Figure Reviews and today we've got a brand new Marvel Legends review it is from the Builder Figure Venom Pool Wave and it is the man himself Cletus Cassidy Carnage and you look now my brain has gone dead so somebody's gonna have to tell me what look this head is from I know it's a fairly recent comic I think but he does come with the classic head as well um, I'm delighted to get Cl Carnage finally back in my collection the last one I had was from the, a the Amazing Spider-Man 2 wave, which was, Jesus, that was years ago now. And I think that was even a KO at the time. That time they sent out all the botched ones. But anyway, back to what, my, what I was saying. Good to get Carnage back in the collection. And let's check him out. I've heard good things about this figure. And hopefully it rings true. So let's take a look at the box for Carnage. As you can see, it's a nice, like a... Uh, symbiote thing going across the bottom and all the way around venom marvel's venom legends series build a figure venom pool and the box in the, at the back and around of the box you can see all the symbiote stuff as well on the side you've got a picture of carnage right here on the other side same one on the back you've got the bio and this awesome pick twisted criminal cletus cassidy sows chaos in the streets as the bloodthirsty villain carnage and here you got the other figures in the line there's the build the figure venom pool you've got morbius carnage phage miles morales and ghost spider you've got all the warnings and stuff not a toy on the bottom all the legal stuff and at the other side you've got a black spider-man suit which is weird because the black the black symbiote suit spider-man is not in this wave anyway let's get this absolutely brilliant carnage out of the box so whilst i was getting carnage out of the box i looked up what that head was from and this is actually when carnage was inhabited by the symbiote god known as null he was also the guy that created the this necro sword for the god butcher in the that tour story that i love so much so yeah i'm going to track this track that book down and read it because i'm a big fan of carnage i haven't looked i haven't caught up in comics a lot lately so I'm looking forward to reading this one. And it has to be said, that head looks absolutely stunning. So creepy and the figure itself is fantastic. Um, he does come with a regular Carnage head as well. That you can use as Ben Riley Carnage or whatever. Or even Norman Osborn Carnage. Who created the Red Goblin I think as well. So yeah, let's look at this figure. First impressions are just wow. He does have these to pop into the back if you want to take, just do regular carnage. But I think whatever carnage you need, you're need, you using here, all the, the appendages look great. Um, the head is absolutely fantastic. All those details on the top, on the head, are all actually sculpted. They're not just painted on. Again, no articulated jaw, but that's fine. Even like, ever, like under on around the figure everything just feels sculpted i'm not sure how much of it is sculpted most of it is though he does have this is a i think this is a brand new figure he does have um butterfly joints as well so this is probably the ultimate carnage the only thing i would love on this guy is if they had done more of those um appendages like phage has that you could pop into his arms here i think he would be absolutely perfect then like, I don't buy Mayfex or Kyoto Revoltek or any of those. Those carnages look amazing, but the price puts me off straight away. Because for that price, I could I bought half this wave, basically. So, yeah, this carnage to me is absolutely fantastic. And you, the fact that you can buy two and have two different carnages because of the heads and stuff is excellent. Again, though, lack of accessories, maybe. Meh. But, um... Yeah, he is really fantastic. If you look around, he's got all the appendages coming off in different places. And all it all just feels sculpted. And it feels weird even to hold him. Um, yeah. So articulation-wise, I touched on it there a bit. He does have butterfly joints. The head, you get a lot of up and down movement. You do get a full rotation. Not, a, not really, a little bit of side to side. You could have him creepily looking at you sideways. Shoulders, you do have butterfly joints here. 
It does go all the way around. <clears throat> it does have the usual bicep swivel and double jointed elbows. The hands are not up and down. They just they're just plug in, so they go around in circles. He does have a pretty good ab crunch and waist swivel. Legs go all the way out. Go up a really nice bit, really high. You do get double jointed knees. And on the feet, you get boot swivel here and ankle rotation. Now even look at his feet. He's just a horrible guy. Those feet are disgusting. So yeah, this carnage is absolutely top top drawer and yeah let's have a look at him without with that other head so let's pop off that one and stick on the regular carnage that so many people are more familiar with nice satisfying pop there and yeah even with that head he looks crazy man but uh yeah this carnage is everything i wanted i'm glad now i skipped the previous one I know it had a pretty, pretty great Cletus Cassidy head. But hopefully I will get that somewhere else. Down the line. The head that is, I don't need the figure. But uh, yeah, this guy is perfect. And this will be forevermore my carnage in my display until Hasbro does something better. Which I can't see them doing. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with this guy. Um, what do you think guys? I'm pretty happy with him anyway. Definitely gets a thumbs up from me. So that's been my review of Carnage, guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. Please drop a like. Drop a subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Stay notified. And we'll see you real soon, guys. Bye.